Hello everyone. I got a new toy today. I got an apple core and peeler, which can also be used on potatoes. So I'm going to play for a few minutes and you can watch. And then you can decide if it's worth it for you. I tend to put up a lot of apples because, oh my God, dehydrated apples are good. Okay, there we go. And so I needed something to peel them other than my hands. This particular little apple peeler here has a suction base, which just will not stay down for any amount of money. So therefore I'm just holding it. And I have a bowl over there that the peelings are going into and I'm going to dehydrate the peelings and maybe make some apple powder out of them, I don't know. This actually cores and slices. So there we are with that. Here's the banana, all nicely peeled and cored. And here's me having a hard time getting this off. And here's the core. Now, I'm sure I could make apple scrap jelly or apple scrap vinegar or something like that, but that's okay. I have a compost pile that I will put this in. And I don't know, I may end up putting uh, the peelings in the, in the compost. I'm just not sure of that yet. Hang on, okay, be right back. I'm back. Had to go get a couple more apples. You, the only thing about this one is you do have to make sure that you hold this little switch right here down or you cannot roll it backward, roll the uh, arm backwards to fit your apple on it. And this could probably not take more than a moderately sized apple. Couldn't put any of those great big apples on here. So you roll it up and then you get to the peeler. And it goes through the core. Pieces go all in the floor. All kind of good stuff like that. Now this one did not peel really well because it was a lopsided apple. And let's go all the way so I can get everything out. If you look, you can see it was a lopsided apple so it didn't peel very well. So we're going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to find that piece and put it in the compost. Now, take, whew, take that off. Put that in the compost. And pull this back out. These are lopsided apples. They really are. But they're very juicy. Very juicy. And I'm going to go back here like this and because they're lopsided, they're not peeling well. <clears throat> and while this is supposed to be coring it in the correct place, I'm not exactly sure that it is because like I said it's a lopsided apple 
so and I'm going to dehydrate these apple pieces oh, that's my crock pot thing and see it did this again okay and pull this oh that one was easy pull that off of there and it goes in the compost just a little demonstration thanks right. well sorry i forgot to bring y'all in right here while i put the apples in the dehydrator see there they are um my dehydrator was full with nasturtium leaves and flowers so i wasn't able to fill it up until just now that's my dog kira say good night kira night mom we finally made it back about two days later it took these apples forever to dry because they were so juicy let me move my jar over here so i won't cut you off while i'm putting the apples in the jar and they are dry i have tested them even though they were pretty thick I did dehydrate the uh, peel too. And it was nice and crispy. See, that just broke right in half. And we're gonna get them all in this jar. And this was only four apples and it was, let's see, four trays because, and they weren't even that big apples, that big of apples either. Now we're going to shake, 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 and we're going to condition these for about a week. Then we will proceed to eat them, and they may last a day. Talk to you later. Bye.